Let's see what happens when we put some rounds right into that big old turret of it. BAM! Oh! That's like a hot knife through butter! Hello everybody, Grease Steel Plays, and we're back with more Brick Rigs, no time for BS. So there was another update from the developer. Man, this developer is really putting out more updates than I had anticipated, and they're all really good. This is an aviation update, adding things like wings and uh, props, and there have you. And what it does is it allows people to make legitimate planes that fly. Before, there was a couple of planes in the game that people had made, but they didn't actually fly. They just kind of like meandered around. Now, and there's a, there's a fighter right here that was made by the developer. We can take a look at this. Now, the planes legitimately can get off the ground and can soar around. It is pretty difficult to drive. I'm not going to lie. I've messed around with this thing a little bit. We're going to take a look at it real fast. It's not easy, but the fact of the matter is, is that we have an ability to get up in the air besides helicopters now, which is amazing. The other thing that was added was another weapon, which is really cool. It's this one right here. It is a like rapid fire machine gun style weapon and the main gun has been kind of turned into a cannon if you will it fires explosive rounds like classic cannon tank like explosive rounds really cool there's a there's new animations and sound effects to go along with that we're gonna take a look at those two along with some of the coolest damn things on the workshop i've seen yet especially one in particular we're gonna save that for a little bit Real fast though, let's go ahead and spawn our fighter here and see if we can get it off the ground. We're going to use this nice open field here to try and get going. Now what you have to do is you can get centered up right about here, right about, that's pretty good. Uh, Spacebar is your, is your parking brake, so if you ever want to like make sure you're not like creeping forward, you can throw on the spacebar. And then ALT is going to turn on these props and is going to allow us to steer. Without pressing the ALT button one time, you can't really steer. You'll just kind of like go forward all crazy like. So let's go ahead and hit the ALT button. Start gaining some speed. From what I see with this plane, you really need to get it up to about, I would say over 200 kilometers per hour before you can get up off the ground. Oh, this is what I'm talking about. There we go. Okay, we made it. We are now up and off the ground. It's got a gun on it too. This is that, that like, mini gun that the developer was talking about that he added. It's like a machine gun, I should say. I believe that's what he called it. See the wobble this thing has? That's what I'm talking about, how it kind of, how it kind of, hold on, let's go ahead and hit the, you can hit almost like an air brake, the prop slow down when you hit back on the key. There we go. Now we're flying pretty good. Let's see if we can, hold on, let me see if I can shoot. Oh, God. We need a little bit more, a little bit more altitude. See if I can shoot these buildings up. Oh, I'm starting to lose it. Pull up, pull up. Ouch. All right, well. <laughs> oh, shit. All right, well, we did okay. Whoa. We did okay. We managed to get up off the ground. We managed to shoot at a building a little bit. The Unreal Engine he mentioned was also upgraded, so that's kind of cool. Let's go take a look at some of the new weapons now, which is something I really want to get into. All right, I went ahead and loaded up the cityscape here, and there's a reason for that. Because this is the best place to try out the weapons. Someone challenged me. They said, Gray, destroy all of the buildings. And I said to myself, oh my god, that will take forever. But not anymore. Hold on. And let me show you one of the coolest damn things on the workshop right now. Right over here. It's called Mammoth Mini. And look at this freaking thing. This thing, let me zoom out a little bit. This thing is cool as hell. Look at look at the detail that went into this. And it has so many cool features too. Obviously the turrets on the sides here, there's four cannons on this thing. This the both of these cannons on both or rather the cannons on both sides are fully uh they, they have actuators on them so they can raise and lower. But also what's really neat is there's actuators on all four wheel pads over here. There's like little pads or little pods almost of wheels and they too can rotate. So like if you're stuck on something, these will, I'll just show you guys. Hold on. Let's go ahead and spawn this thing and kind of show you what I'm talking about. Let's walk, uh, well walk. Let's go ahead and, 
and kind of park this thing right in the middle of the way here. All right, so throw on the parking brake before you start using your turret for sure because the turret packs so much of a punch it will throw you backward. So one press for out allows us to move the turret. Right there you can see all those cannons, very easy to move around. I'm gonna change views because it looks really cool in this view here. Here we go! That! That is freaking look at this shit. Let's keep firing! Ugh! Blam, motherfucker! Come on, let, let me see if we can get one more, one more hit out. Come on, four balls. There we go. That is sweet. Look, now you could take down some freaking buildings with this boy. Let me tell you. Oh, look at this building right here. Hold on. Two shots, I'll bet. Right there. Building down. How about these big ones? Let's see if we can get both these one shot. Come on. Go down. Yes. Both buildings, one shot. That, this thing is freaking sweet. This is the coolest update. I love the sounds too. It sounds a lot better than, well we didn't really have any sounds before. It was like, it was like shooting a little pea shooter before it was terrible. Look at all these buildings go down. One more shot, let's get one more shot in. The flames that come out of the cannons are freaking epic as well. Oh, I'm not gonna be able to get another shot in. All right. So, you know what, hold on. Let me go ahead and level a few more buildings here. It's so satisfying, damn it. All right, so we leveled a couple of buildings with this. What I did was I went ahead and I took this, this here, and I ripped off the cannons and I put on those mini cannons, and I'd like to show you guys those as well. Oh, let me show you the actuators on the, on the, holy shit. Let me show you the actuators on the wheels real quick. Let me go ahead and get out of this, turn this way. Turn the alt back on, and now look, when you press forward and backward, look at this. That's so cool. So like, you can, this thing will roll quite a bit too. I don't know if we'll break, like if you go like this, hold on. Oh, I was gonna say, it would be awesome if it almost turned into like, like a mortar pad. You know what I mean? Like if the thing folded completely under it and it turned into like a stationary mortar pad, that would be kind of awesome. All right, let's go ahead and check out the minigun one. All right, so this very, very much the same. All I did was very hastily, and you can tell they're not the same color as they should be. I very hastily put on six of the machine guns here. Let's go ahead and check this out real fast. I'm gonna get back into this view. Now watch this. Oh yeah. That. This is what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. Shoot the base right out of this freaking building. Now, this right here. You know what? Let's slow it down real fast. Oh, I think we just shot a piece of our vehicle off. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, yeah. We just did a bunch of damage to our vehicle. I think we shot off one of the, one of the sections of guns. Hold on. Oh, look. It's firing by itself. We're taking damage. Also, I wanted to let you guys know, this vehicle here on the workshop made by Verdeth, the user made Verdeth, I'm gonna go ahead and put links to the workshops of a couple of the different vehicles that we're gonna use in this episode. Very cool, though. I'm very impressed with this craft that he made. He had another craft here, too. Let's go check it out real quick. I believe it's called the Railgun. Here it is. Look at this freaking thing right here. This is some space age shit right here, guys. Hold on. Let's go ahead and spawn this thing, and I gotta, I gotta put, I gotta put the parking brake on right away. Let, oh yeah, we're looking right down the barrel of this gun. <laughs> Looks like this has two, two, uh, um, cannon style firing rounds that can be shot. So cool though. Just these vehicles, they have a, they have a look to them. Oh my god, look at how this thing wobbles. Hold on, let's see, let's, can this thing move that well at all? Oh, it moves pretty good. I mean, hold on, we gotta we gotta move this thing so it's look at look at how it shakes the entire craft as it moves. That's pretty funny. Oh, oh, you know what we need to do? Hold on, hold on. I know what I want to do, and there, there's a reason I came to this particular board over here because there's a lot of open area. Let's go ahead. We need to try these weapons out on some vehicles. I want to see what happens when you, we use explosive rounds or even the minigun on something like this. Hold on guys, let me get a couple of crafts set up. Right over here, this is called the APOC Bandit. This is by Trance, who has made several 
of workshop creations on the workshop very skilled as well this is like a almost like a wasteland you know like zombie freaking apocalyptic end of the world style subset of vehicles he's making and they look really cool they look really badass look at this thing right here this is a cool looking vehicle i'm gonna have a great time blowing it up <laughs> with a shut of a bitch <laughs> as i was saying blowing it up with the the different weapons that we have now let's go ahead and park this one over here as well let's go grab another vehicle trance wasn't done with the the apocalyptic vehicles with just that one though he's got another one that i really like too let's go check that one out real quick so this right here is called the apoc reaper and this looks like mad max beyond thunderdome like i mean this is cool look at how it has the brush guards on the front or i don't know whatever you want to call this like almost like an like a plow of sorts very cool like i'm spawn this thing too oh yeah this is this is an intimidating looking ride and the color scheme for it is like that rusty, you know, that real rusty style. So let's go ahead and put this right over here. There we go. And I think we need at least one more to kind of really level out the playing field here for potential destruction. This right here is called the Custom Semi Reefer 2. Very cool looking semi. This was made by Cycle Boxer. Let's go ahead and spawn this in. And bring it on over so we can but man this is gonna be cool to blow up because there's so many damn blocks on this thing look at how sweet this semi is very cool looking semi hold on let me bring this right over here put it right next to the old the old Mad Max mobile oh don't you fall on me cargo there we go perfect all right boys you ready to see some shit kicking Oh, this is going to be cool. Let's go ahead and line up nice and close so we can watch this in super slow-mo. All right, I want to get my... Oh, yeah, we're going to get our freaking... Our freaking turret lined up here with this camera. I'm going to slow it down, and here we go, boys! Yeah! Oh, yeah! That's what I'm talking about! Freaking awesome! Hold on, let's get another shot in... Mad Max would be proud. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, hold on now. It looks like it's still in kind of one piece. Oh no signal. What did I do? Fuck. All right, we're back. Come on, let's let's finish finish this thing off. All right, I think it's burned down as much as it could be. Here we go over here to the rail the rail gun. Let's see what happens when we put some rounds right into that big old turret of it. Bam. Oh. It's like a hot knife through butter right on the money guys look at that that thing just folded in half there's pieces everywhere i love it oh can we get another shot in yeah because one blast isn't enough i think i see some tank treads still in one piece hold on let's see if we can get one more shot in the rest of the the blocks haven't even fallen yet damn it no signal again i'm blowing out my own freaking turret i think what it is is i'm underestimating how low I'm putting the turret because of how close we are because I'm getting really close to blow these things up so you guys can really see it all right I'm gonna get you know what? I'm gonna get real close for this one hold on hold on hold on right here let's go ahead and stop let's go ahead and select I don't want to get too low now this is the last the last APOC vehicle on the menu let's see if we can blow it up in one shot here we go yeah oh god man that's what I'm talking about. And now, the big old semi. What do you think? Should we hit the cab first? Or should we hit should we hit the cargo first? Let's start with the cargo and then go for the cab. I want to hit the wheels if I can. Hold on, here we go. Ready? Fire! Can we ricochet into the wheels? Oh, I don't think we I don't think we really got them. Hold on. One more time. I'm gonna let the smoke clear. There we go. Okay, here we go. Um I think we missed again. A little bit higher. Here we go. This should do it right here. Yeah! Oh, we didn't really do any damage to it. That's kind of weird. It's on fire! Alright. That looked like a good hit. It looks like the cargo doesn't react exactly like the cab would! Bam! One of our, two of our shots, it looked like, went right past the cab area. Oh, everything's starting to go down, boys! Yes! <laughs> 
Oh, that is awesome. All right. Well, now that we've leveled... Oh, hold on. There we go. I think there was a little bit left of the cab. Now that we've leveled everything here, let's go and try the minigun. All right, here we go. Everything's set back up again. I wanted to bring one more kind of cool vehicle out to blow up, so I brought out that, that M1 tank over there. Let's go ahead and get lined up and see how these miniguns do on these poor, unsuspecting vehicles. All right, I went ahead and put the parking brake on. Let's go ahead and get our out button going on here. There we go. All right, let's see if we're online here. Oh, wow. Here we go. Yes. Oh, yeah, now we're online. Now we're online. Even, even the apocalypse couldn't stop this vehicle, but these miniguns sure could. Let's go ahead and speed it up. Oh, my God. Yes! Oh, wow. The miniguns are throwing so much power out that they're knocking us backward. All right, let's go ahead and shred this freaking mini... Or, not the minigun. Let's go ahead and shred this freaking railgun turret. Here we go. Oh, get a little bit lower here. Little lower. Right about there. Let me see if I can cut it off completely. I want to cut it off from the vehicle. Yeah! There she goes. Let's go ahead and melt the rest of that vehicle right there the treads and all that's awesome all right so now we have this other mad max vehicle over here oh you know what hold on let me um let me go ahead let me move us a little bit closer so that we can see it let, let me move it a little bit closer so that we can see the destruction even closer hold on here let me get right up on this thing right about here there we go just got to move our uh I gotta move our turret so that it's not gonna shoot us. Here we go, right about here. Right about there. Oh, oh, we're hitting ourselves with our turret. Oh, there we go, we're getting them too. Oh, it's bouncing. We got it bouncing. Oh, perfect target practice when it bounces like that. We're getting the underside, we're getting the overside. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, let's juggle it. Hold on, let me see if I can juggle it. Here we go. 100 points if you can keep it in the air. Ah, uh, nice. And then for the semi, I'm gonna go ahead and do this at full speed. Here we go. How about the how about the cargo? Oh wow, now we're destroying the cargo. Holy crap. That's cool. All right, man. And now this tank over here. Hold on, let me get out of uh, let me get out of the the movement for that. Take off the parking brake. Let's move it. Let's move over here to this tank. This tank definitely looks like a cool ass contender, but you know, <laughs> oh you know. Hold on, here we go, boys. There it is. All that tank armor. When you've got. Uh, well, now five. I was going to say six, but I think we blasted one of our turrets off. When well, you've got six machine gun turrets carving away. Oh, that's awesome. Did we knock a piece of our craft off? Hold on. It looks like, yeah, we took off our own, uh, our own wheel. In fact, this thing has so much room that it can move. There we go. We just shot the front of our vehicle off. How far can these things turn? I, want, I wonder. Hold on. Let me see. Oh, one of them just fell off. Two of them fell off. There we go. <laughs> we can destroy our own vehicle. That's funny. Come on, get that whole thing destroyed. There we go. Right, right in the middle there. Look at how much, look at how much distance. Look at how much range this thing can move its turret. I'm really impressed by that. All right, guys. We're back in the plane real quick to kind of finish this off. I want to see if I can get us taken off. And then... We'll see if we can fire at any of those vehicles that are sitting over there. We're going to try and do a little gunner action. Well, let me see if I can take off without crashing first. There we go. All right, guys. Now we just need to floppily turn around here. Very, very floppily turn around. Oh, there we go. We're doing a little bit smoother now. Kind of hard with a uh, with a mouse. I think maybe with a, uh, with a joystick, this would be a little bit easier. Okay, here we go. Now we're... Son of a bitch! All right, boys, we're going to finish it off with a dive bomb. Ah, oh, shit. I couldn't make it. <laughs> oh, boy. This, uh, 
This aviation thing is gonna be a real treat. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the look at the guns, the aviation update, the cannons, and just all of it is so cool, as well as a lot of these workshop creations. Special kudos to you guys doing all these workshop creations, because a lot of them are so cool, and they're getting so involved and detailed. They're just a pleasure to work with. Guys, hope you enjoyed Brick Rigs. Until the next episode, folks, stay foxy and much love.